Today we're going to brainstorm and sketch some ideas for pinch pot planters. I'm going to begin by opening Adobe Draw. I'll start a new project by selecting the orange plus sign in the bottom right hand corner. I'll choose letter or portrait format. I always like to pinch my paper down just a tiny bit because I feel like it's a little bit more like a sketchbook that way. I actually have a few ideas that I did web image searches for and I'm going to bring those in right away. So I had a few inspiration ideas um, that I thought references would help with. So I have a giraffe here and if you saw I also have a basket. So both I'm just going to kind of tuck up here for a minute and I'm going to look at those later. So the first idea that I had was just to make a kind of abstract or geometric inspired um, little planter. So I might just begin by drawing just a general pinch pot shape. And I was thinking about adding some coil details to the top that would kind of create some open space. I also thought about maybe using some of my stamps from back earlier that I made. So I might go ahead and use some stamps on the outside of this planter. So I would go ahead and draw that design in so I know just where to stamp and how that's going to fit in with the design. I also might want to add some interesting feet to this planter. So I might make it kind of like a tripod. So giving it three feet, I'd make them coils. They would be a little bit wider at the bottom so that they could support the weight of this pot. I might even go a step further and add some decorative spheres on the top of those high coils that you can see here. Another idea that I had was an animal inspired planter pinch pot. So I might do the body of the pinch pot as the body of a giraffe and I would then create a neck. Oh, it's gonna turn into my number two a neck here and kind of bring that down. I would connect here. So I might actually go back and erase that. And I would add that long tail. And of course, I would have to add those long legs, which would be the most fun part of this style. Once I think about texture, I could maybe make contrasting texture between the spots of the giraffe. And I could add obviously some details here in the face as well. Can zoom out a little bit, kind of refine the nose and go back in and erase the two. Um, some giraffes have little horns as well, so maybe I'll give this one little horns too. So, maybe the black tongue. My last idea was inspired by a basket. So, I liked the idea of a basket because I thought it would give me cool texture to explore. So, I'm going to make this one actually a little bit more tall and narrow and I would focus on creating a kind of carved woven texture around the outside and 
ones, I also would maybe use some braided coils to create loops. And I really liked the idea of this tassel. So I might even try to create a little clay tassel that would hang from maybe both sides of my pinch pot. So it would be kind of like a sphere and then I could carve a really great texture into that as well. So those would be my three ideas for totally different pinch pot planters that also utilize other methods. So we can see the pinch pots, but I also have coils. You might have coils as well, or you might even have slabs. So I might do these polka dot or the polka dots on the giraffe in slabs for details. More coils here as I braid. So all of those additions, and then I might even make a note that I'm gonna use my stamp on the outside wall of this one. So be sure to label, have really detailed plans for this project so that we know exactly what direction we're going.